Okay, using screencast, I'm going to see if I can make a kaleidoscope in GeoGebra. And so I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm going to get rid of the grid and the lines. Now for a kaleidoscope with GeoGebra, we actually need something for um, things to move on because we don't have the random motion. So I'm going to just pop a circle there and then a regular polygon I'm going to pop here and maybe I'll have eight vertices there we go now if I right click there and I animate well that wasn't actually on the circle was it so that's kind of not working interesting and um, so what we're going to go is control Z control Z control Z and I'm going to try that again so I'll pop a point on the circle and then I'll go um, a regular polygon from there uh, cancel still not going to work I actually need to to make a certain length so I'm going to translate um, so I'm just going to get that one point one point there on it and I'm going to use translate and I'm going to translate this point by a vector okay so I'm going to need a vector so my vector is here and there's my vector right so let's go back to my translate that object by that vector now if I um, go regular polygon from there to there and I do eight sides this time I'm hoping when I animate that aha okay so that's good but I'm not liking the look of it much and I don't know why I've got that point there I might just delete that I think I might have uh, by mistake rotated that as well this um, here from the circle I should be able to yeah I can change that that's all right okay now I'm going to pause there I'm going to right click object properties and here color I'm going to have red style thickness like that do I want inverse filling not really I'll have standard filling hatch um, that's playing with the actual filling inside the shape so maybe if I have it at least degrees and spacing less that's fine now I'm going to look at these points and actually I don't want them oh, I want to select them all if I can shift yeah go down and select them to there and I actually do want to show the object, but I don't actually want to show the label. And color-wise, I'm going to make more purple, and I'm going to put them as big points, just, just for the heck of it, really. Okay. Here on my circle, in some respects, I don't really even want to show it, because I want that to look like it's um, just moving beautifully on its own so inst instead of not showing it I will actually make it yellow you can actually virtually not see it and maybe I do want to see it a little bit more than that that's okay uh, I don't really want to fill it in do I so I'll leave it opaque okay so now um, notice if I move this that moves okay so we've got a bit of control there if we want it and right click I this one I'm actually going to change its color because it's a bit of a controller um, and right click and I can animate that again so you can see I've got a shape there this I could move if I wanted to one shape is not really enough is it if we're going to make a kaleidoscope, we need lots of shapes. So let's think of another 
shape and let's have that going on should we have it going on an ellipse so that it kind of doesn't go on the same kind of thing it goes in a different way and again I'm going to do a, a regular polygon I need that point on there just to make sure that it's actually on my ellipse so I'll pop a new point there and then I'll go a regular polygon um, actually let's try rigid polygon and see what happens there if I was to make a rigid polygon like that if I then animate that point uh -huh, it's not going to change its shape so it's a bit of a cheats way uh, pause and we're going to right click and remember we didn't really want to show that label on that one and object properties on this polygon let's make it quite a thick clean and we can just have standard filling if you like so we could animate that okay now also maybe one of them going the other way might be helpful so if I I can change the shape of that one remember as well so right click object properties let's have a look at this um, green hexagon and let's have a look at our animation of whether we can change that and make it go anti-clockwise I'm not sure that we can actually doesn't really look like it so we might be a bit stuck there now I'm going to um, do some reflection and rotation and that kind of thing so in order to do this I think it might be easier if I actually make a line maybe so I'm going to just create a line through two points here and here and I want to do a reflection so reflect object about a line I'm going to pause and I'm going to grab those two hopefully and my line and I've reflected them but you can see I haven't reflected all of them so I'll just go control Z uh, pause again and I will grab those again and reflect them in the line okay so we reflected that way how about if we have a, um, a perpendicular line through here can we now reflect them the other way so whoops we don't want to make another point do we so I'm going to pause I'm going to grab them nope not do that control Z pause my selection button grab these oh reflect through the line here okay and so now sort of be a little bit like a kaleidoscope now what can we do if we select the whole lot of them which would be rather difficult um, if I pause it might be easier might not so we select the whole lot and this time we are going to rotate and around that point and let's go what does 45 counterclockwise do a bit of a mess control z uh, pause wrong pause okay so pause grab them all if i can and we are going to rotate around that point and let's go 90 and see what happens okay now push play does it look a little bit like a kaleidoscope maybe not really um, whoops i just need to maybe fiddle with that a little bit doesn't seem to want to change yeah. Uh, we can change our 
size of our ellipse if we wanted to, to get something that's maybe a little bit prettier. And can even move that somewhere else. Now if I grab all of these, I can right click properties and actually let's just grab all of the hexagons. And what we could do is trace them, which may or may not improve matters. It won't really unless we do something here with the colour. So if we think of a moving point, uh, we can have the x coordinate of A for example, if that's a point, let's see, no. Control this. Control F. Yes. Okay, bit of a mess. We haven't got a kaleidoscope yet, but hopefully you've learned something about playing in GeoGebra. It's easy when you know how. Okay, soldiering on, I'm going to select all of that, select that and rotate, I sort of undid a bit. I'm not going to try and um, trace objects. It looks like a kaleidoscope, doesn't it? Sort of. Now I'm going to get rid of that and I'm just going to tidy this up a bit by right clicking object properties and these points all of those points actually so what have I got shift and I'm just going down all of those points nasty there's a, got to be a way better d way of doing this and here I'm not going to show the label, so that's okay. I'm not even sure if I want to show the object, to be honest. How about that? That's kind of better. That's all right. Now, the ellipse, I don't want to show that object. And the hexagon, we do want to see the lines. We don't want to show that. Aha. Okay, so now we've got something that looks a little bit like a kaleidoscope. Made a very um, inefficient way. <laughs>